Okay, guys, excuse my English and most importantly, excuse my drawings. I have to tell you somehow, some way, how you can do it yourself. And I couldn't find any pictures showing that. So I draw it myself and please excuse me. Okay, this is you in the toilet. I recommend to do it uh, when you pass a good features, good defecation, with soft, without problem, your anus muscles will be very soft at that time. So do it after that, maybe the best way, or you can choose an, another time which is without defecation, more clean, and uh, you, but the sphincters will be closed. So to open it, I will show you. Okay, with my perfect drawing, you see, you are sitting on the toilet. You will, of course, you will put on gloves and you will use a lubricant cream. I recommend an anesthet anesthetic cream, like having lidocaine in it, or you can use a hemorrhoid cream. This works best. So when you sit down, this is drawn as a left hand. You can do it left hand and right hand, no problem. So you will, with the glow, lubricate your, this is rectum, uh, anal canal, and you will put your finger inside this part. This is rectum, this is bladder, this is prostate. We are trying to dis reach this prostate. And here, urethra is going from penis to outside. So let me show you the next picture. Okay, so this is again. This is your finger, now it passed from the anal canal, this is the sphincter, it passed, here we have the prostate. So first, when you are trying to pass the anal canal, it's very tight. So put your finger and wait a little, then slowly push the canal in the lateral parts, it will relax and you can put your finger easily, don't hurt yourself. Put the cream and wait a little more. Don't push instantly. Wait and wait it to relax. Then put your finger like here. So this is my left hand. This is finger. Now I lubricate it and go in. So when I go inside, okay, this is my finger. First, we will pass a muscular ring muscle tissue. Then we will pass an anterior rectal wall. There is nothing. Nothing, just the rectal wall. When you advance your finger inside, then you will feel a chestnut shaped, this big organ. You will feel it. It is firm, it is round, and you, it is a different organ. You can easily feel it. And find your prostate, try to identify the borders. The apex, this is the lower part of prostate. This is the base, upper part of the prostate the right side, the left side, try to identify these with your fingers. Usually, your finger length will not be enough to reach this. At that time, we make a Valsalva maneuver. That means take a deep breath and push your abdomen down. So the prostate will move down and now you, you can touch, you can feel the prostate. So make a Valsalva and bend in front. Bend and push your abdomen so you have more chance to reach your prostate. And then you will pass to this part. Here, the prostate is somewhat like this. So you will reach the prostate with your hand, finger, base, apex, the upper part, lower part. And don't try to do it like our six, uh, sex, sex stance, six place localization method. So I recommend you to go on the right or left side and to squeeze the prostate down in the lateral part three or four or five times and in the middle and in the more middle so three localizations here then in the other part right side uh, in the three localization so milk the prostate milk the prostate down and from the urethra you will notice as, as actually when you try to uh, Milk it, instantly you will feel too much irritation on your penis. That means you are in the right spot. Your penis will be irritated. You will understand that you are in the right spot in the prostate. And with the milking, you can have a discharge in the urethra, in the front of penis, 
or you may have nothing. Usually, in our massage, we have prostate, prostate drainage in maybe uh, eight, half of the patients or 60%, 70%. And I am expecting for you guys, if you do it correctly, maybe only 30% of you will have this drainage. Still, do it. Try to do it yourself. And uh, if you can drain yourself or just making an irritation here will increase the inflammatory reactions here. And if you can open some channels in the prostate, yeah, the fluid may come out and your prostate with this inflammatory reactions can heal better. So guys, we are trying to find some way, some method to uh, complain, complete our Istanbul protocol, but you may do it without this protocol too. If you want to understand you have this disease or not, if you want to understand uh, this prostate massage will help you or not, you can do it yourself. You can give any harm, but don't, don't push too much. Don't push something that can be harmful, that can tear the mucosa. Uh, just use your finger and try to do it. In the future, I, may, I am planning to define some instruments safe and efficient for this, but I have to have more experience on it. I have experience in this self-massage, it is not 100% similar or same as the massage we do, but I am sure there are some people who have some beneficial effects of this massage. So try it and see it and uh, yeah, share with us with your results please. Thank you very much and I wish a happy and good life to all of our patients.